Hey everybody. So I want to talk about how you find your shooting settings um, on your import of photos. So once you shoot your pictures and you bring them into your um, bring them onto your computer, you may want to know well which the one which is which photo did I shoot at a high or a very fast shutter speed, or which one had the low aperture setting. And, um, and afterwards, you may, they may all be of the same scene and you forgot which one is which. And, and like, so how do you figure that out? Well, the good news is there's something called metadata. And metadata is basically just a whole bunch of text information that's appended to your photos. So let me uh, just show you my desktop here. So I've, I've got a bunch of photos here that I took in South Dakota and they're opened up in Bridge. And um, so what's great about metadata is it just records all of this specific detailed information about details about the picture. Um, and it's appended and embedded into the actual image file itself. So here I've got some images, here's some of some um, swallows, uh, river or barn swallows here. Um, but, and again, you can see I have a bunch of different pictures and I can see if I, I want to know more detail about like which, what f-stop was this particular photo taken at? What shutter speed? Well, in Bridge, it's really easy because it's all over here in this metadata window. So keywords, metadata. And right up at the top here, it shows you a lot of that core information. So it tells you your f-stop right here. And it's showing you my uh, shutter speed was 1 500th of a second. And it's showing me, this is like my type of metering. This is kind of like an averaged uh, center weighted metering. This one plus 1.33, that shows my exposure compensation. I've actually told a, told a camera that I want it to be a little bit brighter than it would normally read for the scene. So for example, this picture up here is almost the same. It's a bit darker. You can see it's, I just had a plus one. So it's a manual setting that can be really helpful. And then there's ISO, which is sensitivity to light setting um, type of gain. But also down below this, there's going to be a whole bunch of different sets of uh, information. Um, and some of this is going to be dependent on the camera that you use, et cetera. But you can have, for example, so sort of file name properties, but under here, under camera data, XIF, this will show you things like the, what the lens you used and what the focal length uh, was. Um, it'll tell you when off here, I've got the, the date. Often you might be able to do something like flash, like if flash was used or not, or the white balance setting. So that's how you can find that. So then you can sometimes select the right picture uh, to up to use. The other way you can see this is also in Photoshop. So if I opened, we'll just pick a different image for the fun of it. If I um, open an image in Photoshop, First, because this is a raw file, it's going to go into this raw file scenario. And um, there, but I'm going to go ahead and click on open and go open it into the main Photoshop window. Yeah, let's go done. So here it is within Photoshop. And I just want to show you under file. There's something called file info. And this is a way to get to the metadata. So you can see it's a different presentation, but we can get to the camera data. Um, we can look at the exposure information. We can look at the focal length. Um, so this is, this is just another way to get to the same thing if you don't happen to have bridge. A lot of other programs also have this. Um, I'd like to also just show you you know, here are the raw files for, uh, should, I should say these, here are the files for um, this. And I just want to show you like an XMP file is another type of metadata file that's alongside your raw capture. And um, 
just wanted to open one of these and just show you kind of what it looks like because this is effectively what how metadata is actually stored. It's really just a text series of text file information and it looks like computer code, but really all it is is just information that pertains to the actual capture and it has all kinds of uh, detailed information. So hopefully that's helpful. 